appeasement and isolationism were rife in the 1930s. And out of the economic and political chaos of that period arose Hitler's Nazi movement and the most for formidable war machine in the history of the world, negotiations up in Angola, which so directly affect them. So Czechoslovakia and Sudetenland were left out. And sure enough, they just tossed them as a bone to Nazi Germany, and they figured that that would do it, that uh, probably that would make Hitler happy. It really didn't make him happy, but uh, uh, Neville Chamberlain went home, uh, waving the peace treaty in the air, and saying, there will be peace in our day, peace with honor. Uh, and within 11 months, World War II broke out. It lasted six years, and 50 million people lost their lives, including many South Africans. Okay, in 1938 and 39, during and right after the Munich summit, and capitulation uh, by England and France, uh, the combined military strength of Western Germany was still greater, uh, of, I'm sorry, of Western Europe was still greater than that of Germany. And those Western powers stood together and stood up to Hitler. Uh, they may well have been able to back him down. And there was also a group of uh, uh, dissonant military officers in Germany uh, that were contemplating trying to have a coup against uh, Hitler. But instead, Europe cowered uh, before the... Now, Santayana said, uh, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And Hegel said, we learn from history, we learn nothing from history. Okay, today in 1988, 50 years later, we see the same type of appeasement of an evil aggressor nation. This is Ronald Reagan. Uh, we see uh, the Western leaders uh, sitting down with Mikhail Gorbachev uh, and uh, treating with a regime which since 1917 has caused the deaths of 130 million people worldwide which has brought revolution and communism to over one-third of the world's uh, land man. Remember, because there's a tremendous number of people in this country that believe, oh boy, now we can finally have peace with the Soviets and the Cubans. They really do want to stop fighting us, et cetera, et cetera. And we would say, be very careful indeed.